So uh, here's what Joe Biden said today in response to the terrible shooting in Boulder. I wanted to have you react to it. Play it. We can ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines in this country once again. The United States Senate, I hope some are listening, should immediately pass the two House pass bills that close loopholes in the background check system. These are bills that receive votes of both Republicans and Democrats in the House. This is not and should not be a partisan issue. This is an American issue. It will save lives. From day one, you have been, since the beginning of, of your time in office, Congresswoman, a, a Second Amendment defender. What's your reaction to Joe Biden calling on Congress to pass two bills or pass these two aspects of bills? Well, uh, first of all, I want to just express my heartfelt condolences to the family and loved ones of those who were killed in yesterday's horrible, horrendous attack. Um, it, it certainly is a tragedy on our community. And it's, it's very unfortunate that we have uh, a president who wants to immediately restrict uh, Americans' rights to defend themselves because of one sick person's actions. Uh, you know, I know that some have, have chosen to criticize and ridicule the mil millions of Americans like myself who believe in the power of prayer. But I believe in a God who listens and a God who cares. And I'll continue to pray for the families and this entire situation. And just like you mentioned, I refuse to politicize this. Uh, we weren't one law away from pre preventing this yesterday. Colorado's universal background checks didn't prevent this, and the state's unconstitutional assault weapons ban uh, didn't stop a, a, a Hamad uh, from having an AR-15. None of Colorado's gun control prevented this shooting, and no amount of gun control will ever prevent shootings like this one. But I know I want and I, I should always have the right to defend myself, and so should every other American. To me, I am upset that uh, potential law-abiding gun owners were discouraged from shopping at this King Supers in Boulder because of their stance on gun on their gun policy. And uh, there weren't people there who were able to neutralize the threat. And a lone officer was sent in with a gun. And uh, unfortunately, he lost his life. And uh, this is this is something that I don't want to see happen in America. Um, but unfortunately, there are bad people who do bad things. And we never know when they're going to act on the thoughts that are are consuming uh, them, and we need to have a way to protect the, ourselves, and it doesn't come through legislation. Congressman, you, you mentioned a few, I think, key things. I mean, you're a representative from Colorado, so you know the state law there when it comes to guns particularly well. So there already is, in effect, a, an assault weapons ban in your state. There already are uh, uh, expanded background checks in your state. I think people, because this is now already with the President of the United States calling for immediate congressional action, even raising the prospect of executive action to deal with this. It's, it is a political, uh, political issue now, how this will be handled, what's going to happen from a legislative standpoint. So what are some of those laws that folks should be aware of that did not uh, prevent this and that were broken in the commission, obviously other than committing 10 uh, first degree murders, what were the gun laws that were broken in the commission of this crime that are already existing? Well, Buck, we just saw in, in Boulder, there, there was an assault weapons ban and uh, a, uh, a ban on magazines larger than 10 rounds. And a court just recently um, said that that was unconstitutional and overturned that. And now on the heels of that, we're faced with this tragedy. But that doesn't mean we need to restrict uh, the constitutional rights of those who live in Colorado. Uh, we already have emergency response orders. We have red flag laws um, that uh, are in place in Colorado, which are very unconstitutional. We have a 15 round magazine um, ban on uh, on these uh, ass I, I don't call them assault rifles, but the so-called assault rifles on uh, AR-15s and high capacity um, rifles. And none of this would have, have stopped this situation. Um, it's already illegal to go in and open fire at all. And of course, uh, take the lives of, of these people, these, these 10 people who we saw um, tragically lose their lives yesterday. But you know, details about the shooter and his motivations, they're still coming out. And we need to know more about what happened yesterday. 
yesterday. Uh, we know that the shooter's name is uh, Hamad Alisa. We're hearing that he couldn't stand President Trump and uh, you know that he, he saw racism everywhere and that he claimed to believe in Islam. But there's still a lot that we don't know about this situation, Buck. Um, while we're dealing with this senseless tragedy and mourning the loss of life, um, here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to blame society at large for sick for one sick individual's act of violence. And I'm not going to allow um, lawbreakers to reduce the rights of law abiding citizen. Uh, I, I think it is uh, unjust for President Biden to call on Congress to enact more legislation to restrict the rights of individual. As a member of Congress, I know my first order of duty is to secure and defend the Constitution of the United States to protect the rights of the citizens that I represent, not take them away, not give them away. I will always stand for everyone's right to defend themselves. Hey Team Buck, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked the video, click that little thumbs up button. And if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.